What's up guys, so I'm going to show you how you could save the Lamatron in your own creative island super easily and fast. But real quick, I am gifting tons of you guys whatever you do want from the Fortnite item shop, including the Season 5 Battle Pass. So if there is something that you do want right now from the Fortnite item shop, just subscribe with the notifications, like the video, and then go and comment your Epic Games Gamer tag and what you do want from the Fortnite item shop. And I'm going to be gifting tons of you guys whatever you do want from the Fortnite item shop. But now to go ahead and save the Lamatron in your own creative island. So this is super simple to do. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just first to make your way into creative and just make your way into the creative hub. And now you could be doing this in fill, without fill, with friends, or without friends. It doesn't matter. As long as you're in the creative hub, you are all good. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do once you are in the creative hub, you're just going to want to go over to one of these tablet things right here. You're going to see this tablet and you're just going to want to type in this code right here to this private island. So the code is right here. It's 4590-3696-3430. It's also on the screen right there. But you're just going to want to go ahead and type in this code. It is a modded creative code. So we're just going to type it in just like this. And when we do go ahead and type it in, we're just going to wait for it to load. And then when it does go ahead and load in a few seconds, we're just going to go ahead and walk right into it. So we're just going to go ahead and make our way into it. So this is super simple. So we might hear the Lamatron. We might not, but it's completely fine if you do or you don't but when you get in here you're just going to want to place a waypoint just like this and when you do place a waypoint just go back to hub you might hear the llamatron you might not sometimes you do sometimes you don't it's completely fine whether you do or you don't but you're just going to want to load back into the hub just like this and then when you do go ahead and load back into the hub you're just going to want to make sure that you do still see the waypoints so as you could see i do still see the waypoint right over there so now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go into your own creative island so you could go into any creative island that you want a Lamatron and it doesn't really matter. So this is honestly so simple to do. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, this is basically, we're going to go like over right here. So basically, as you can see, you see the waypoint right over here. You're going to want to go over to the side of the map where the waypoint is. So then you're going to want to go all the way down here, just like this. And then when you do go ahead and basically make your way over here, you're just going to want to basically place like a floor just like this. So basically, you're going to want to make sure that you can place like a few of these block things between out of bounds and let this mountain right here so you're just going to place like floors it doesn't have to be exactly how i'm doing it it's not that big of a deal it just has to be some wall which is out of bounds so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is place a few floors just like this and when you do place a few floors make sure it's right above the water but what you're going to want to go ahead and do now this is super simple so we're just going to want to place like a ramp just like this and now we're going to place another ramp just like that so make sure that this like is exactly how i have it so make sure it lines up exactly with the orange thing so at right after this floor ends, it's right where the orange thing is. It should be right where the orange thing is. Like 99% of the time the floor will basically line up with the orange thing. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do now is just basically open up your menu and you're going to want to go over to your creative and you're going to want to go over to devices. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to go over to the brutes. You're going to go over to the brute just equip it just like that. Now when you do go ahead and equip the brute, so this is super simple to do. So we're just going to want to place a brute right here and we're also going to want to place a brute right over here on this ramp so this is super easy to do so now we're going to want to get inside of this brute and get into the driver's seat now this is the hardest part so after this part everything's super easy this is the hardest part to so just make sure that you do listen and do exactly what i show you so you're going to want to get into this brute right here we're going to walk past the orange thing out of bounds just like this and now basically we're going to turn around and we're going to line ourselves up with the orange thing to go in bounds and you're going to want to also line yourself up with the the other brute so what you're going to want to go ahead and do now basically if you walk forward or do you pass this line while in the brute it's going to automatically kick you out so it's just going to make you exit the brute you're not going to have to do anything to exit it it's just going to kick you out because it just kicks you out when you go back in bounds so what it's going to do right when it does kick you out what you're going to want to go ahead and do you're going to want to spam the button to get in the other brute so you're going to walk forward it's going to kick you out automatically you don't have to do anything and then as soon as it kicks you out spam the button 
button to get inside of the other brew. And as soon as you get into the brew, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is press the button to change your seats. As soon as you get into the brew, you want to press the button to change the seat inside of that other brew. If you don't change the seat, it's not going to work for you. So make sure you do change the seat as soon as you get in it. And you're also going to hear like a noise and you'll know that you're, you change the seat. Like you'll hear the seat change. So basically we're just going to walk forward just like this. We're just going to basically line ourselves up. We're going to walk forward. We're going to spam the button to get in the brew. And then we're just going to basically, basically spam the button. But now basically if it does not work, I'm going to show you what to do. So basically that's what happens if you do mess up. I know a lot of people are having trouble with this. So if you do mess up, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just fly back down here. And when you do fly back down here, what we're going to want to go ahead and do now. So we're just going to go back down just like this. And when we do go ahead and go back down here, we're just going to want to find the brute again. And when we do go ahead and find the brute, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just get inside of the brute. This might take like two or three tries for most of you guys because it is a little bit tricky, but it is not that hard. Honestly, look at that. Just like that. It's super easy. So now as soon as you get into brute, you want to just jump out and fly just like that. So that's super simple to do. It might take you two tries, but that's what you do if it does not work the first try. But now what we're going to go ahead and do is just make our way over to the waypoint just like this and basically make sure if it does take two tries it's not that big of a deal just keep trying you'll get it after a few tries but real quick while we are making our way over to the waypoint right over here i basically do have a glitch where i could go ahead and give you guys stuff like the lightsaber the infinity gauntlet which is the Thanos weapon the zapatron and a whole ton of other stuff literally anything it's a crazy glitch so i'm gonna literally be giving all of that stuff to all of you guys so if you do want that just subscribe and notifications like the video and then go and comment your epic games gamer tag your instagram your snapchat your twitter anywhere where i could possibly contact you and i'm gonna literally go ahead and get to every single one of you guys also when you do contact where you want to be contacted when you do go ahead and comment where you want to be contacted what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just say that you want the infinity gauntlet or you want the lightsaber or whatever you do want to so just comment where you, where you want to be contacted to so your epic games your twitter whatever and say what you want like say you want the infinity gauntlet or you could get all of them too it doesn't really matter and i literally have everything which is honestly insane so if you do want something like that just go ahead and do that and i will go ahead and literally get to every single one of you guys and do the glitch with all of you guys because it is honestly so easy to do so i'll go ahead and give it to every single one of you guys literally i'll get to because it literally takes like a minute and i'll give you guys whatever you want every single one of you guys but now what you're going to want to go ahead and do basically you're just going to want to make your way over to this location and when you do go ahead and make your way over to this location you're going to see that the Lamatron is right over here so now what you're going to want to go ahead and do when you do see the Lamatron is just open up like the phone so basically you could see at the bottom left of my screen it's telling me to hold triangle so whatever button it is for you to open up the phone you're going to want to go ahead and hold that button and then when you do go ahead and hold that button now basically as you could see you could basically go ahead and press L2 or whatever other button it is this is basically the button to save stuff into your phone so basically on PS4 it is L2 but whatever console you are on you're just going to or pc this does work on pc also you're just going to want to press that button so it does say it right there like on the bottom left so we're just going to press that button and now we're just going to press up on the d-pad to save it into that slot and we could also save this other llamatron right here just save it just like that and you could just go ahead and press those buttons to save it now when you do go ahead and save it what you're going to want to go ahead and do you're going to want to respawn and as soon as you respawn it's right into the hub your own hub just like this this is the hub that you want to put and save the llamatrons in so you're just going to want to make your way into the hub just like this now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is just land just like this and when you do go ahead and land now this is super easy to do so we're just going to go ahead and basically open up the menu and we're going to want to go over to devices and we're going to see the brute so basically not the brute what am i what am i even saying we're not going to do that i don't know what i was just saying but we're just going to want to go ahead and basically open up the phone just like this and when you do go ahead and open up the phone just press the button to basically see your inventory and then press up on the d-pad and now basically when you do press up on the d-pad you're just going to want to go ahead and basically place it just like that and now when it is placed it is saved inside of your island now i'm going to show you how to use this thing because i know a lot of people don't know how to use this and a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with this so basically this is the llamatron right here you can readjust it move it change the size to as big as you want just like normal just the same exact way you just go ahead and basically open up the phone and you could go ahead and do whatever you want to it but now if you want to go ahead and
and play something on this. You could just stand right next to it or on top of it and customize it just like this. Now you could change the volume. There's so much stuff you could do. You could change. This is like the distance, how far away people could be to see what's playing on the Lamatron. So basically what you're going to want to go ahead and do, you could literally just go ahead and basically put looping on, which basically replays the video over and over again. There's all different stuff that you could do. Now, basically the custom video ID. Now, this is the most important setting. So basically you could type in whatever ID you want. And when you do go ahead and apply it, it will go ahead and play the video on that ID over and over and over again. And these videos are from YouTube. I'll go ahead and pin a comment with all of the IDs that basically you could go ahead and place. So I'll have all the IDs with all the names of the video. And you could just type that in and enter it. And the video will just keep on replaying over and over on this Lamatron, which is honestly really cool. And I'll just pin that in the comments. You go ahead and check that out and just apply. And all you have to do, you don't have to do anything. You just apply it and it will play. There's no on or off button. You just apply it and it will go ahead and play, which is really cool. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new. Put on notifications. Like the video. Go share this video with everyone you know. Go to this right now. And yeah, guys, that's about it. Peace.